48 HRS after furious Jag fan flew scathing message over players protest, look what happened to him. The majority of Americans are beyond fed up with the weekly NFL protests that have continued on even after the President of the United States and the league commissioner called for players to start standing. The constant kneeling has hijacked the sport and destroyed the season as former fans made their displeasure known by the unprecedented amount of empty seats in stadiums across the country. Since these millionaire athletes still don't seem to get the message, a former Jaguars fan made sure they got one they couldn't ignore with what he flew over Everbank Field on Sunday while players on both sides of the field kneeled. Terry Smiley, a Jacksonville native. Terry Smiley a Jacksonville native and former supporter of the Jaguars didn't just boycott this season once his team began participating in the protest, he flew it over their heads to humiliate them and encourage others to boycott as well. What he was not expecting was what would happen just 48 hours after the bold decision that's never been done before but was his right as a citizen of this free country. Action News Jax reported that Smiley hired a pilot to pull a banner that encouraged fellow Jacksonvillians to boycott the team with his banner that read, Be American. Boycott the Jags and the NFL. This in-your-face approach didn't sit too well with pouty kneeling players who think that they are only entitled to an opinion and publicly expressing it. This all-American sport is dividing fans after some NFL players took a knee during the national anthem, Action News Jax reports. I am asking people to boycott the football games. I don't watch it on TV, Smiley told the paper. Jaguars fan Jake Grossman chimed in on that sentiment saying, People's feelings about politics and football seem to bleed together on the turf. People need to realize the true message that they're trying to send. Without a doubt, Smiley is the most dedicated fan to the anti-NFL cause and doesn't care who he offends just like the players who are on their knee for every anthem at every game. Smiley not only sent a message to these players and protest supporters he spoke for all of us by beating these players at their own protesting game. Now, after his massive message, Smiley is saying that he's appalled at what happened and has now made a shocking new announcement about what he plans to do next. On Fox and Friends Smiley said he was so appalled when some Jaguars players knelt for the national anthem at their game in London but stood for God Save the Queen that he had to do something about it, Fox News Insider reports. It is expensive and it's worth every nickel of it, he said. I would like to see the players start playing football. They can take this elsewhere, he added. They have the right to protest. I have the right to protest. It's refreshing to have someone as bold and brave enough as Smiley to take his message into the sky at the risk of facing a verbal backlash from disrespected NFL players who aren't afraid to run their mouths. Smiley's massive aerial message was more than well received by Americans who appreciated the lengths he went to get the word out, which came at no small cost. He didn't just passively avoid the NFL by not going to games or changing simply changing the channel on Sunday. He put his money where his patriotism is and gave everyone taking any what they deserve, public humiliation. Part of the problem with these players is that they don't care if you don't like their message, they are still going to get paid millions of dollars to do what they want and demand respect for it. The greatest revenge for them is to not only lose high-paying sponsors, viewership, and jersey sales, it's to prove that they aren't as special as they think they are. By ruining their protests with this banner, Smiley won on multiple levels and he's not stopping there. According to Fox Insider, the former NFL fan will also fly the banner over the stadium during the Jaguars' November 12 game, he said. This is a significant weekend since it's Veterans Day weekend and you can pretty much bet that the athletes are going to want to steal the attention away from the meaning of that day by protesting the national anthem and our flag veterans fought for their right to kneel in disrespect. Many of the entitled millionaire players who have been participating in this boycott consider it to be their right to protest, and until the teams say that they can't, it is. It's also the right of every betrayed fan to make them regret it in any legal way possible. This is an American who's ready to put his money where his mouth is, and obviously, he's making waves, waves.